After cruising this past year on Holland American Princess, we're hooked, hooked I say, on cruising. I'm so excited to try another cruise line. So this time we're gonna try Celebrity, especially after hearing what a great time my brother and his wife had this last fall on their cruise to the Mexican Riviera. As soon as I started looking into everything Celebrity, I found out quickly I had a lot to learn. I spent about 40 hours this past two weeks looking into everything I could about Celebrity Cruise Line so that you don't have to. Celebrity Cruise Line is a premier cruise line. Same with Holland America, Princess, and Cunard. They all sail with ships that are 1,500 to 4,000 plus passengers that they can carry now. They're all known for having good food, great service, and great entertainment. Who are you going to find on the ship? Well, these ships are definitely adult-oriented. You're going to find a lot of couples because you're not going to find the water slides, the rock climbing walls, the racetracks that you'd find on more family-oriented cruises. But you will find lots of things to do. Production shows and trivia and game shows, a silent disco, a smoke-free casino, and music playing throughout the ship. It's time! The first tip is to download the app. The app is where you check in before you even get on the cruise. And then when you're on the cruise, it's where you can view the menus, the activities, you can schedule your fitness class, you can schedule your specialty dining. You can do a lot on the app. One thing to know is that even if you don't get the Wi-Fi, you're going to be able to use the app when you're on the ship. One of the things that you can do on the app is your virtual muster drill. So here's what you do. You do the master drill once you're on the ship and you just get all the information and then you just go with your your cabin card. You go down to your muster station and they scan it and then you're done. Get it done as soon as you get on the ship. You don't want to be the person that the captain say, 20 people left to do their muster drill. 19 people left to do the muster drill. Super annoying. Another thing you want to use that app for is you do want to check your account every day or every other day, just to make sure all the charges on it are what you expect. Much easier to take care of these things when you're on the ship than once you're at home. If you're wondering, do you still get a daily planner in your room? You do, you'll still get a paper planner. So if you're like me and you wanna get out your highlighter and you wanna check and see all the things that's going on for the next day, you can still do that. Rest code, we're on the ship. Well, on the ship, it's pretty much like you'd wear on any cruise ship during the day. In the main dining room and specialty dining rooms, they do have a dress code though. No flip flops, no tank tops, no bathing suits, no cover ups. You're, you can wear shorts during the day for lunch, but at night, no shorts, no baseball caps. They are pretty good at enforcing those things. They do have two chic nights on a seven night cruise. So the chic nights, they're not as formal as a formal night on other cruise lines. So for the chic night, women can wear like a sundress or just a pair of pants and a nice blouse. Men can wear just even dark jeans and like a polo shirt. Time for cabin tips. The first one, drop off your carry-on luggage as soon as you get on the ship. So unlike other cruise lines where you're not allowed to go to your cabin right away, on Celebrity, go right away. Next, skip the towels. So you do not have to bring your towel from your stateroom to the pool. You don't have to even bring your towel when you're going off the ship on an excursion. So, and the towels aren't checked out. Like you don't have to like sign it out, sign your life away, make sure you get the towel back. They're, they're good. Next, Skip the shampoo, conditioner, and soap. Now me, I'm still going to bring my shampoo and conditioner. But if you are fine with whatever they offer, you don't have to bring it. They'll have it for you. Gratuities. Now, depending upon what level of heaven that you have, your gratuities will vary. So there are automatic gratuities. And you are charged for all drinks 20% gratuity on every drink. Finally, <laughs> the mini bar so the mini bar you also are going to pay gratuities on so one tip here is to ask your admin steward to just empty out your mini bar as soon as you get there on that first day so that you're not tempted to eat and drink the things in the mini bar and you won't be charged a gratuity on top of that dining tips celebrity has open dining which means you can just show up at the restaurant and they'll seat you within 10 minutes 
Now, if you prefer a more traditional dining and like that set time every night, you can do that. You can schedule on the app before you even get on the ship. You can order as many appetizers, mains, and desserts as you want. So go crazy. No, it may not go too crazy. The one time that they do charge extra is on lobster night. So here is a tip. Instead of paying the $16.99 when for an extra lobster, if you want extra lobster on a lobster night, ask one of your non leaven lobster friends to order it and then tell them to give it to you. Dietary needs. Vegetarian? Check. Keto. I don't know if they take care of that. You might have to handle that on your own. But other dietary needs that you have, they'll handle it. Gluten-free, things like that. Dinner in the buffet. One thing that lots of the YouTubers said was in the buffet at night and even online, it does say it's a more limited menu. They really, I guess, expect you to eat at one of the specialty restaurants or at the main dining room at night because their buffet is on a little bit on the lighter side. One thing that I watched and saw was dining in the aft area of the ship is a super nice way to, to eat. You just get your food from the buffet, the ocean view cafe take it out to the app and it's a nice place to just watch as the ship sails on oh this is where i want to go cafe albaccio everybody says go to cafe albaccio they have this is what they everybody says that people don't know cafe albaccio the food is included so all the treats and croissants and cookies that you get and get Cafe El Baccio are included. Now you can get specialty coffees. They're included with your drink package. Otherwise, you're going to pay per item. The Spa Cafe is another place that lots of the cruisers said got to check out. The Spa Cafe is located in the solarium and they do have limited hours for breakfast and lunch and offer like a healthy, like a healthy options. So you might want to try out the Spa Cafe. We kind of said that it's kind of tucked away. You have to look for it. Really want to go check it out. The Eating Cafe is on the on the uh, Edge Class ships. So the Eating Cafe is another one of those yummy restaurants that are included. And that's on that ship. The Mast Grill is on all of them. And the Mast Grill is up on the, like, the pool deck. And it's where you can find barbecued items. Think hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, things like that. I like to go there on day one. And finally, the room service. So complimentary breakfast is included in research room service. So complimentary breakfast is included in room service. But after that, it's $9.99 or $9.95. And then there's a 20% gratuity on top of that. If you want room service. And finally, oh, one more. <laughs> dining packages. So if you're somebody who likes specialty dining, if you go online... They do have special dining packages. And if you use a travel agent, ask them. I saw one that wasn't on their website, but I saw it somewhere else where you could get like two dinners and one lunch for a better deal. So you might try that and get a dining package if you like to eat at the specialty restaurants. Here's some drink tips. You might save money getting the all-inclusive package. The all-inclusive package includes... The classic drink package, which includes classic alcoholic drinks and specialty coffees, special waters. So that's your all-inclusive package. It also includes basic Wi-Fi. It used to include gratuities. That was a better deal. And, you know, something that's interesting about Celebrity is unlike Princess and Holland America that have set prices for their, like, have-it-all and Princess Plus packages, Royal Caribbean has what's called dynamic pricing. So depending upon your itinerary, it's going to depend on how much your all-inclusive package costs. So you want to find out how much the package would be on your sailing and then gear it, judge it based upon how many drinks you're going to drink in a day. If you do not get the all-inclusive package, you can bring wine. Well, either way, you can bring wine on the board. You can't bring any hard alcohol, no vodka, and no beer. But you can bring your own 750 milliliter bottle of wine per adult in the cabin. And you can enjoy it in your cabin without having to pay a corkage fee. If you take it out and take it to dinner, they'll charge you $25 corkage fee for that bottle of wine. You can also, you'll also want to bring a refillable water bottle. So 
When you're a fillable water bottle, just fill it up at the buffet or you know, even in your cabin. The same water. They run it through a great filtration system. It's good to go. You'll want to book early. So whatever you're booking, you want to book it early. You want to book your all-inclusive package before you get on the ship. You want to book your specialty dining before you get on the ship. You'll get better prices. You'll want to book any excursions before you get on the ship. Not only will you get a better price, but it'll also make sure that you get to go on that excursion you want so it doesn't book up. The last thing you want to do is get on the ship and then go get a line and they say, oh, sorry, you don't get to go on the whale watching tour. Here's something to know. If you have onboard credit in your account, you'll be able to use it and apply it to any of those things before you even get on the ship. I have a lot more tips, but first, if you found anything engaging, interesting, educational, at all, really, at all, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm working hard to bring you all the tips and tricks to help you get your cruising right. Booking a cruise, speed round. First of all, book early. You'll get a better price, and that way you also have a better choice of cabins. Pick the shoulder seasons. Shoulder seasons are less expensive, so... The ship that we're taking, the repositioning to Alaska, that first cruise will be less expensive on the shoulder. Book in an older ship. Take a repositioning cruise. Avoid speak, speak, peak, peak travel seasons. When kids are out of school, book a longer cruise because kids don't go on them. So it's less expensive. There is a move up program. So you might get, like you might book let's say an ocean view cabin. And then Celebrity has a bid up program where you put in a minimum bid and you can bid up. My brother on his cruise, they had an ocean view cabin planned. Then he bid up, he ended up with a concierge class veranda cabin for like a hundred bucks more. That was great. Next, if you are not an AARP and you are in the United States, you might consider joining AARP. You get 10% off at like you get, you can buy up to thousand dollars of gift certificates for one cabin, and they only cost nine hundred dollars. So you save ten percent on that one thousand dollars. And it does have, it does. Celebrity has a best price guarantee. So if you book your cabin and the price goes down, they'll refair it. So here's a tip I just learned today. That's a reason not to pay off your cruise completely ahead of time. So let's just say you book your cruise and they need to refair it and give you a, a cheaper price. So they give you the better price. Now, if you have paid off your cruise, the way you'll get that better price is an onboard credit. Well, I personally rather have cash. So you might wait to pay off your cruise until you know, you're know 90 days when you have to, to finish paying it off, leave a little bit of a balance. That way, if it does need to be refaired, you're not gonna get it as onboard credit, you're gonna get it as cash. You'll want to join the Captain's Club. The Captain's Club is like their loyalty program through Celebrity. And what you get with the loyalty program is special promotions, special events. You also can get laundry service. You can get upgrades on your cabin. So that's a good idea. And next, if you happen to be a Royal Caribbean International shareholder, make sure you get your shareholder's benefit. It goes anywhere from $50 to $250. Every time we cruise, time to talk about picking a cabin. This to me was the most confusing part of celebrity cruises, like figuring it out. So they have your inside cabin. That's not confusing. They have your inside cabin standard or all inclusive. Same with ocean view. You can get ocean view standard or all inclusive. Now this is where things start to get confusing. Veranda cabins. Well, let's start with this in the first place. A veranda cabin, it's a balcony cabin. Okay. And then there's the infinite balcony cabin, which isn't really a balcony cabin because you don't go out on a balcony. So that gets a little confusing, but there's more. So you can have a veranda cabin standard or all inclusive. Then you can also get a veranda cabin concierge class. The concierge class, it's not a different type of cabin. It's a veranda cabin. The difference is, is that you get like upgrades of services. So you get this checklist when you get to your cabin, you get invited, welcome aboard luncheon, a helipad sail away. They thought that was super cool to go on this sail away party. Then the different amenities, 
You get a bottle of wine if you ask for it. Daily delectable delights. Pro tip, ask for crackers and cheese. They'll bring you these delights that aren't as delightful, but you could just get crackers and cheese. You also get a 100% uh, cotton bathrobe. You get custom, let's see, custom blended bath amenities. That sounds nice. And you get to use binoculars. And you get a pillow menu, which sounds pretty cool. So they have a body pillow, a hypo a hypoallergenic pillow, and a Swedish isotonic pillow. So that's kind of fun. So you can get the concierge class, veranda cabin. You can also get an aqua class, veranda cabin. The aqua class veranda cabin includes the following. Aqua class includes an unlimited access to the adults only sea thermal suite, a dedicated spa concierge, priority spa res reservations, complimentary fitness classes, and exclusive spa treatments. For amenities, you get two bottled waters in your room daily, two yoga mats, which makes me think, do you get a keep up? <laughs> An in-room fitness amenities menu, an eco-friendly natural ingredient shower amenities, 100% cotton bathrobes, slippers and towel. Oh, this one time you get slippers and towel. A welcome bottle of sparkling wine upon request, complimentary use of umbrella and binoculars, complimentary shoe shine service, expanded wellness on-demand TV, and that same pillow selection upon request. All those things sound great. But when I watched the different videos and researched all about the aqua class, it sounded to me like the reason to get aqua class is to be able to eat at Blue. So Blue is a restaurant only for aqua class veranda cabins. Suite members can go if there's room, but if there's not room, it's exclusively for the aqua class guests. Now what's special about Blue? Well, Blue offers like a clean eating, they, they said, like the different YouTubers said it, like clean eating, like fresher, like a fresher, lighter ingredients. One example was you would have like a truffle vinaigrette instead of like a Bernays sauce on a steak. So kind of a lighter, healthier version. Finally, we have the suite and the retreat. So again, the retreat is like part of your sweet experience. So here's the things you get. Once you're in a suite, you get the retreat. The retreat for suites includes the exclusive restaurant, which is the Luminae. It seats just 92 passengers. So basically the retreat is celebrities version of like that kind of upper class that different lines are going for. It has an exclusive lounge on all the ships. And then it has an exclusive sun deck on the edge class ship. It has a premier drink package, premier Wi-Fi, dedicated attendants just for you, dedicated concierge just for you, and dedicated butlers just for you and the people in the retreat. I can't wait. I love learning all the tips and tricks about Celebrity Cruise, and I can't wait to try them out when we sail on the Celebrity Summit come May. In the meantime, check out this video with tips and tricks about the Princess Cruise Line next. Happy sailing!